That says Quay. hello. Can you say Quay Quay? Quay I am Coco Makwa. My friends call me Grandmother Danka or Granny Bear. <laughs> okay? Kokum means grandmother, and Makwa means bear. And my students give me that name. Hi, sweetheart, how are you? I'm going to tell you a story between the race between the fox and the frog. The fox and the frog came up to be chief at the same time. All the animals got to be chief for one year. The bear was chief, the squirrel was chief, the rabbit was chief, the chipmunk was chief, and now come down to fox and frog. And so the fox really wanted to be chief because he just liked the thought of the title, right? And so he was thinking of different ways he could compete with the frog where he would win so he could be chief. Is that nice? No. no. We need to we need to be voted in to be chief or we need to do it for a good reason, right? And so he come up with a competition. He said, if we could jump up in the air and flip over once and land on our four feet, then you get to be chief. And so Frog thought, I have four feet? I can jump and flip in the air, okay. And so they agreed to do that. His friends were a little skeptical and thought, I don't like the way this sounds. So the fox jumped up in the air, flipped over, landed on his feet. The frog jumped up in the air, land, flipped over, landed on his feet. So the fox did it again, and then the frog, and then the fox, and then the frog. And the fox says, I win! And the frog said, no, wait. I jumped over up in the air, landed on my four feet. He says, yeah, but I landed on all my four feet at the same time. You landed on your legs, back legs first, and then your front legs come down. So that's not all four at the same time. Well, frogs thought about it and they thought, well, that's not fair because frogs' back legs are longer than their front legs. They can't land on their feet at the same time. Just leave it alone. You won't eat much. <coughs> and so they said, oh, you have to come up with something else. So the frogs thought about it and said, okay, whoever can run around the circle the fattest just and grab a hold of their chair wins. And the frog went, no, I don't think that's fair. Well, why not? I can do that. The frog said, I had a tail when I was a tadpole, but my tail fell off. I have such a tiny little tail now, it isn't even worth calling a tail. It's like a bump. There's no way I can run in a circle and catch a bump. So the rest of the animals thought about it and said, no, that's not a fair competition either. You need to do something where it's the same distance or you have the same, you get to use something that you're good at and it's fair for both of you. So the fox said, what about a race? And the other animals went, okay, a race sounds good. And the frog went, well, I can't run very well. I swim better. And so the fox, being sneaky, thought he was going to get away with something. And he says, why don't we race around the lake? The frog went, it's a big lake. He goes, yeah, but I can run on the shore and you can swim around. You're a good swimmer and I'm a good runner. And so we should be able to decide who's the winner then. So the animals thought about it and said, okay. So the frog was really nervous. You know, like when you try something new for the first time, your tummy gets tight and sort of gets little butterflies in it. Maybe feel a little sick to your stomach. Right? And uh, so his friend says, frog, you can do it. We believe in you. Even if you're little, you can do it. And so they agreed to do it. And so they made a line and the bear said, we're gonna start on this side of the line. You have to go all the way around the lake. And whoever crosses this line first is our new chief for the year. And they went, okay. So you count to three and then we're gonna begin. So you ready? One, two, three. And so the fox took off. And he was running really fast and he was running around the shore. The frog hopped over to the water, jumped in, and started swimming. Now this frog was a good swimmer, but he couldn't swim very fast. So he's swimming like this. Can we all swim like this? So we're swimming like this, right? Well, the fox, he's running around the shore and he's running really fast. Now foxes have longer legs than frogs, and so they can run really fast. So the fox ran and ran and ran until he started feeling a little winded and thought, you know what? It'll take him forever to catch up with me. I'm just going to lay here on the ground and rest. And I'll get a drink of water. 
and I'll be fine. I can lay here for a little bit. It's okay. Well, the friend, w the frog was a little upset because his friends all disappeared just before the start of the race. But he talked himself into doing the race anyway because he knew his friends were depending on him. And so he had started the race. Where was I? Oh, the fox was laying down. Well, the fox leaned over to get a drink. How do foxes, foxes drink? They yes? lick with their tongue. They lick like that? Like that? So he's licking and giving the drink. And he's licking the tongue right here. And he's licking the tongue right here. And he's licking the tongue right here. And And it's green. And he goes, Poof! And they're on the ground in front of him. It's a frog. Oh, hi, fox. I didn't think you'd get here this quick. But, but, <coughs> I had you in my mouth. Hey, what are you doing here? He says, well, I was waiting to see when you were going to get here. He says, you beat me here? That's not fair. So the fox got mad, and he took off, and he ran again. And the little frog sunk back under the water. And the fox ran and ran and ran and ran until he couldn't run anymore. He was out of breath. So he flew himself down on the lake shore. This time he checked the water first to make sure there was no frogs. And he got drunk. He drank. And he drank. He got lots of water in his belly. So he's laying there kind of dozy going, Oh, I can have a rest. It's going to take him a while to get here. And then he sees these little bubbles coming up out of the water. And then, boop, right in his face. Oh, oh, what was that? And he's trying to get the water out of his eyes. He's rubbing with his paws, and he sees something blurry and green. Oh, wait a minute, I can't see. <laughs> and he blinks, and he looks, and there's a frog looking at him. Hi, says the frog. I was just having a snack. I was waiting on you. Well, the frog was amazing, don't you think? Uh -huh. The fox got mad. You're here? You're here again? How did you get here so fast? This is not fair. I'm supposed to win this race. I'm going to be chased, and you're not going to beat me. And so he got up, and he ran really hard. Can we all run really hard? He ran really hard, right? And then he got tired. And he come to the edge of the water again. And this time he checked for bubbles. Can we all check for bubbles? No bubbles. And he checked for frogs in the water. And see no frogs in the water. And so he got a drink, and he started to calm down. And then he heard this little voice behind him. Well, good to see you again. Nice day, isn't it? And he looked around. What are you doing here? How did you get here before me? I On the log, beside where he was sitting, was what? A frog. A frog. Well, he just got so bad. He stomped his feet. Can you stomp your feet? Oh, yeah, just so bad. You can't hear me, Marty! What else do we do when we're mad? Yes. Frown? We frown is not very nice. Like this. No. Like this. And what else do we do sometimes? When we have a temper tantrum when we were little, what else would we do? Yes. Um, stop. Well, I know some it's little people scream. They go, ah! Ah! Okay. Well, we were really frustrated. We also sometimes shake our arms. I'm just so angry! And he was mad. He was mad. That frog. That frog. He got here before me. No! That frog got here before me. Well, he got mad and took off. He was determined he was going to get to the finish line didn't watch where he was running and he tripped over a lawn and he rolled down the hill and he landed in a mud puddle. Oh, <laughs> oh and he stood up and he was like, my beautiful coat. He got me all covered in mud. So he jumped in the lake to clean all the mud off because the fox is a very vain fellow. He has to look perfect. Okay? Yeah. He has to have a nice clean coat. So he gets all cleaned up. Coming back up to the shore, and guess who's sitting on the shore? Yeah. There is a little frog. Did you have a nice bath? Was the water warm? Oh, he got so bad. He just, he was so bad he couldn't say anything. Couldn't scream, couldn't yell. 
That's it. I'm going to the finish line. And he ran to the finish line. He ran and he ran and he ran and he ran and he ran. But he got tired. He forgot to eat his lunch. He didn't. He didn't get water regularly through the day. And he kept going. And he was so tired. Are you gonna get the finish line? Getting closer. And that finish line looks so close to begin with. Now it looks so far away. Oh my goodness! I just. I'm so tired. And in mid run, he fell asleep, landed on the ground, and that was it. He was out cold. What happens sometimes when people are sleeping really soundly? You go to sleep. They snore. They snore. Can we all snore? <laughs> While he's sleeping. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the lake, that poor little frog is swimming. Can we all swim? That poor little frog swimming. He's swimming at a regular rate. And he's swimming, and he's swimming, and, he's to get tired. and so he's getting tired. But every time he got tired, one of those little frogs of his would pop up. Yeah, you can do it! You can do it! Keep going! Keep going! So when we're in a race and we're trying to do something and succeed, and one of our friends cheer us on, can we continue? Yeah. So he keep going, and so he start to tire out again, and the little frog would pop up. Yeah. You can do it! Yeah! Keep going! Yeah! Can we all cheer on the frog? Yeah! yeah frog! And so as he's getting around the edge of the lake and he's climbing into the finish line, all his little friends that are cheering him on are now swimming with him. And he's getting close and he's getting close so he can see the finish line. It's like five hops away. Can we count? One, two, three, four, five! Yay, frog! You win! You are the chief for the year! When the frog looked around, did he find the fox? At the finish line? No. Where did he find the fox? Yes. Um, <laughs> at the mud. And mud. No, he wasn't in the mud. Yep. He, he was at the... He was in between the pond and the finish line. Yes, he was. And what was he doing? Was he eating? Sleeping. He was sleeping. Oh, when they finally woke up, there was no one at the finish line for the frog. Fox. The frog had won, and everybody went off to celebrate with him. So when we cooperate with one another and we support each other, even if we're little, we can do big things, right? And if we try to do things just for ourselves, we don't always succeed, right? Bye, guys!